what up YouTube? That's your boy Why Not. And this video is gonna be five things I like, and five things I dislike about my charger. <laughs> Give y'all a little quick view around, you know, before I get into the before I get into the video. You know, a little something, you know, nice little charger. Can't go wrong with it, you feel me? So, in the video, I'm gonna just go ahead and start off with five things I don't like. Being number one, I know most people are like, mm, but me, bro, me personally, bro, these these rims, for example, these are the worst rims Dodge could ever make. Cause first of all, if everybody know for sure, this say Hemi, right? It's a V8 right no v6 big boy these right here if i take all these badges off if i take all my badges off right and people just look at the rims they gonna think it's a v6 because every v6 owner that i know come with these weak ass rims and just you know what i'm saying and like just looking at it because you know my car used to have the stripes on it so with the stripes, just along with the stripes itself, everybody thought my car was a scat pack or whatever, you know, blah, blah, blah. But since I took the stripes off, and then with these weak ass rims, it kind of looked like a V6. But you know, until you pull up on the side, you see that the big boy Hemi right here, you know what I'm saying? Then, you know, everybody like, oh, okay. You know, it's not that bad. I mean, it's really not that bad, but. I, me personally, I just don't like the rims. So that's probably gonna be next. You know, the, the rims. Give me some new rims and shit like that, you know. But um, but yeah, so that's that's number one. One thing, that was one thing I don't like. Two, I don't like how, you know, it's an RT and they don't come with RT on the seats. You know how scat packs come with scat pack, the logo, or goddamn. Um, yeah, the scat pack logo or whatever. Or, you know, something on the seat or whatever. But they got these weak ass seats. You know, like most scat packs, I don't seen scat packs, RTs. I seen some RTs that got the RT on the seat or say RT scat pack or some shit like that. But you know, like why mine couldn't come with the damn RT, the RT scat pack on the seats. You know what I'm saying? I done met some, mainly all the ones I done met that has uh, RT on the seats was a damn RT scat pack or it was an older model or whatever. But that's one thing I learned about Dodge. They, no matter what year your car is, unless you got them special order that shit the way you want to, they just gonna throw anything on there. Like, I'm pretty sure you'll probably see these rims on a scat pack. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, they should be doing dumb shit like that. Like, that don't make sense. All right, so that's number two. Three is these weak ass rims. I mean, not rims, wheels. Like, I know my car not the fastest, but it damn sure ain't the slowest. You feel me? But 245s? Nigga, I be spinning every time I hit the gas. Like, it, it doesn't matter. Like, it never fails. Um, you feel me? But, um, excuse me. But yeah, like, that just don't make sense. I feel like any any car that got horsepower on it should at least come with 275s or better. But you know, that's just me. So that's number three, number four. I don't like how the car, I mean, it's not that bad. Let me go on the other side so y'all can see. I don't like how the car sits like the lowering springs. Like, I mean, 
it's not as bad. I've seen some chargers that sit high as fuck and then what mines is sitting or whatever. But like, like this gap right here. Like nigga, I can damn near fit my whole fist in here. Like, nigga, it's five fingers. And then in the back, I can fit my whole fist in here, bro. Like, come on now. So I don't like how it sits. Like the shit just, I feel like I'm in a fucking SUV or some shit. God damn. Sun coming out, car looking good, you know. But yeah, so they're gonna be the next mod. Or order some lowering screens so the car can sit right and stuff like that. And then, okay, so number five. This is the most thing that I hate about this car. So everybody know, you know, the scat pass and Hellcats and all that stuff. They come with a 3.09 differential or whatever. So both wheels were spins. Mines come with a 3.08 or whatever. So pretty much the reason I hate that mines came with that differential and not the scat pack and Hellcat differential is because only one wheel would spin. So let's say if I want to do a burnout, one one would spin more than the other one instead of them spinning equally. So it would be like, hey, by the time I finish the damn burnout, my left wheel probably lost more thread than the right wheel. So eventually I would have to go buy one fucking wheel instead of the, you know what I'm saying? Like that shit is stupid. And then if I want to go slide my car, like how the scat packs and Hellcats do, I can't. <laughs> like I'd be looking retarded out there. Like only one wheel is spinning for real. Like it, that shit is embarrassing. So like, so that's another thing I gotta do. What I am gonna do? I'm gonna get me the Scat Pack Hellcat differentials, so both wheels will spin, and that way I can do burnouts perfectly and spin that hole and shit. Have fun, cause you know what I'm saying. Like, why would they even do that? You know, hey, that's just me though. You feel me? But, yeah, so that's five things I don't like. All right, let's get into five things I do like about this car. <sighs> let's see. So, this one really don't count no more since I don't have it no more. But, if I still had it, this would be number one. So, the main thing that I liked about this car when I first seen it was the stripes. The stripes really what made this fucking car, bro. Like... This would really just like, all right, put the icing on the cake. Let's give a moment of silence for the stripes since we don't have it no more. Anywho, but yeah, so, all right, so number one, the main thing I like about this car is the color, is blue. Blue is my favorite color, if y'all can't tell. Like, blue, like, blue is like, it's like blue, purple, and black. Like, they're like my top three favorite color and the main thing the main reason why i really got this car because it's indigo blue and like i don't know if y'all probably gonna see it on this video but y'all probably seen it some videos like um you will see like a hint of purple showing in the car or like the shade or whatever it's not showing today for real but y'all don't know y'all don't talk about because indigo blue indigo is purple and then you know blue so yeah, so that's really like the main thing, number one, that I like about this car. Because it's blue, it's my favorite color. Don't nobody got blue for real. Every color you see is black, red. But shit, really, it, really like the main two colors that I see damn near every day is black, red, and gray. Then probably like the three main colors you'll see on a Charger versus... The least colors I see is blue, purple, yellow, and green. And then, unless you wrap this shit, then you know that's different. But yeah, so that's really like the main thing I liked about the car: the blue and the the blue and the black combination. Because, like I said, blue, black, and purple like my favorite colors. So you can't go wrong with that color combination, you know. So that's one thing I like about it. Two. Two I like about this car, you know, it's a fast ass car. <laughs> like, you can't go wrong with it. Number two, I, I like this car because, oh. all right. Second thing I like about this car 
you, shit, it's a charger. <laughs> like, I always wanted me a charger, you know, growing up watching Fast and the Furious. You know what I'm saying? Like, that really motivated me to get a damn charger. It was even between a charger and challengers, but like, I don't know. A charger to me personally just looked better. A challenger just looked more aggressive, if you, if you want me to be honest. You know what I'm saying? Like, a charger, you know, I can. Take the family on the vape. Well, I ain't got no family, but you know, friends, get in the car. You know what I'm saying? Like, hell, go on vacation. You can have four people in your car and still got people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you just can't go wrong with a charger. It's a, it's a charger. But, yeah, that's two, two things. The second thing I like about my car is a charger. It looks good. You can't go wrong with it. You know what I'm saying? Three. Three, the third thing I like about this car, the the good and the bad that come with it. The good that you, you know, you meet a lot of people, a lot of, you know, good people, nice people, cool people that got other cars, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I first got this car, I went to my very first car meet. That same night, I probably done met like 50 other people that said they like my car, you know, this and that, give you tips and ideas. And like, you learn a lot about a fucking car just because you got a car. Even if you got the car just to do whatever with it, you still, you know, you meet a lot of cool people with it. And there's so much you can do with it, like make car content, YouTube videos, make money off of it. You feel me? Like, it's a lot that come with having this car. And... I knew for I knew for the fact that when I got it, you know, it'll be good and bad, but it's more good than bad since I got the car, so I can't complain, you know. Was that three, four? Um, number four. The fourth thing I like about this car is the sound. So when I first got this car, it wasn't. I think the exhaust wasn't stock, so. Before I got, when I got the car, it came with a mid muffler lead. So it still got the rears on it. And before I added the five inch tips on it, it still sounded good, you know what I'm saying? But ever since I added the five inch tips and the mid muffler delete, this shit sound good. Like it sound, you would think, most people think my car is a scat because of the way it sound. But once I take the rears off and scrape pipe it, all right, this shit gonna be louder than what it is. All right. combination and the sound like them was like the main three things that made me like all right i gotta get this car like this bitch this bitch loud as fuck to be the sound like once i that would be my next thing too take the rears off have a scrape pipe so that bitch can be screaming and loud you feel me then that fifth thing the fifth thing i like about this car 
is that it's an RT, it got the 5.7 engine. And air, if you know, everybody should know by now, y'all. 5.7 is the best engine to work on. You know what I'm saying? Like, so many, so many ideas and so much shit you can do to it without messing up the engine. So you got the 5.7, then you got the 6.2, which is the Hellcat engine. Number the two best engines you can work on. The Scat Pack, not so much. I mean, you can do a lot to the Scat Pack engine, but not as much as the Hellcat and the 5.7. So the reason I got the 5.7, because I know it don't take much at all to make it faster and sound better and look good. So that was the main reason why Another reason why I got it was because it's an RT. Everybody gonna sleep on it, say it's slow, this and that, and the third. But once I start upgrading it, you know, I really got it so it can be a sleeper build. I want people to think this shit's slow, all this shit heavy, this and that. It's just a boat. But once I get under that hood, oh yeah, because my goal is to just beat scats. Once I just beat scats like there's no tomorrow, that's all I want. I want somebody to just, you know, pull up on me. Wow, well, it's an RT. I'm finna just have me some fun. Man, yeah, all right. Yeah, now put that bitch in sports. Over with. Gap his ass. Now I'm gapping scats. Like, that's that's my goal. So my goal and the reason I got this car is for it to be a sleeper build and for people to think, you know, the car is slow. But once I get under the engine, you know, upgrade it, you know what I'm saying, do what I gotta do, you feel me? Shit, they just got to fuck around and find out. <laughs> so, and that's another thing. So, I just want y'all to stay tuned. Stay tuned to the channel. Things are coming very soon. And another thing that I'm finna start doing, I am going to start. So, I'm basically start doing vlogs. One video, then the next video will be a car video. So, like my last video, I mean, it was like a mini vlog slash car video, but it's more of a vlog. And then this video is more about my car. So like, you know what I'm saying? So after this video drop, the next video will probably be a vlog, then the next one will probably be a car mod or car wrap. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? So yeah, y'all just stay tuned to that and and just see what happens next to the car. So I got so many plans. I got a list of things that I, I gotta do and need to do. Then y'all just stay tuned, subscribe, and you know, just follow the journey. And so, Hope y'all enjoyed the video. You know, y'all like, comment, subscribe, and I appreciate all my subscribers that be watching, and I appreciate y'all. And that's it.